Salt has always been part of Javier Alangay's life. He belongs to the Koya indigenous community that lives in the northern province of Jujuy. But in recent years, his community has started to see a new threat. It worries us that they want to start lithium exploration here, but we won't allow that to happen. We will resist. The salt flats are our life. We survive from the salt we sell. Lithium exploitation has already begun not far away from here, in the salt flats of Olaros, where companies like Toyota have partnered with the local government. Lithium is crucial for the batteries that power laptops and cell phones. We know what happens when they start working in the salt flats. Communities in El Arroz are running out of water. Lithium exploitation requires great quantities of water in an area that is already dry. Salinas Grandes has one of the largest lithium reserves in the world, and that's why national and international companies have expressed their interest in exploiting this area. The problem is that indigenous communities here claim that they've been taking care of this salt flats for generations, and they fear that if international companies come here, they won't do the same. 33 indigenous communities here say that the companies and the government will need their authorization to operate in this area. Isabel says she's tired of empty promises. They tell us they are going to give us something and then we don't get anything. So we know we depend on ourselves. This is our land. The constitution says so. But in spite of this, a company like Daejin Resources from Canada has announced that a contract has been signed with the government of Jujuy that allows them to search for lithium in 90,000 hectares. We met with Jujuy's new governor, Gerardo Morales, who told us that indigenous communities will be respected. Argentina needs to start not only exploiting lithium, but also producing lithium batteries, because it's what the world needs. It's strategic. Indigenous communities are worried, and they are right. We won't do anything unless there's a consensus, and they get some benefits. Indigenous communities in Argentina are amongst the poorest in the country. They claim their land has been devastated over and over again. But here in Salinas Grandes, they have managed to preserve their way of life, and they're willing to go to great lengths to protect what they claim historically belongs to them. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Jujuy, Argentina.